Hi there. In this quick video, we will be testing this inverter welder. Hey, shouldn't this also come in English? Yeah, better like this. That I got from uh, Kaufland because it seems Kaufland now also has Parkside tools. They are somewhat related, Kaufland and Lidl, so it makes sense. It's the PISG 120 D5, and there are, I think, C4 or C3, so the termination uh, differs. I've seen uh, at Lidl, and it was basically same specs, but uh, 20 euros more expensive. So I'm not sure what's up with that. In theory, they are the same. This should actually be a newer revision. I don't know. If you know, please tell us in the comments. But yeah. It can go from 10 to 120 amps, so this is by no means a really powerful welder, but I don't need a powerful one, I need it for, I don't know, small pieces of metal, uh, uh, thin stuff, so this will not go above 2.5 millimeters uh, sticks, welding sticks, welding rods, but I don't need it to go above that, because what I'm welding, if I go above this, will uh, be drilled through while try, trying to weld, so yeah. Cable itself, 4 meters, thermal overload protection, perfect. Uh, this is the clamp for the welding rod, uh, negative clamp or neutral or whatever it's called in welders, I don't know. In theory has this included, a few welding rod sticks. Uh, that I freaking don't know what it is. Ah, I think the, it, there are the cables, a brush, and uh, this um, welding mask, but I bought uh, another one from uh, Lidl, and I will also make a video for that, so it will be in the description. But uh, yeah, smooth and uniform welding S, uh, arc, electronically controlled. It only weighs three kilograms, and it was almost an impulse buy. I was planning on getting one, because I kept borrowing my father's, I will do a small comparison with this one, but his is not really a brand one, so it's working, but not that great. So, uh, huh, yeah, decided, uh, seen this and decided, okay, let's do it, let's get one. It's so small that it doesn't even occupy that much uh, space. So, uh, where do we have a little bit of English, please? We don't. Hey, what's up with this? So, give me its name in English, but you don't have uh, any other English on this? Anyway, let me try and translate what I can. Innovative technology for uh, better welds. Okay. I, I'm jumping over a few words. Uh, good join of the steel, stainless steel and other test materials. Low weight. Yeah. Uh, stable arc electronically controlled arc, high tolerance uh, to position modifications. The arc remains stable for a longer time. Okay, nice. Uh, overload protection for, from the thermic uh, sensor. And it seems to have uh, an overload uh, LED in there, which is good. Uh, two meter weld cable. 2 meter clamp cable, the neutral or negative or whatever it's called, metal case with powder coated with a transport belt for your shoulder, integrated fan, and compatible with all types of stainless steel welded uh, cast material and basic electrodes. And uh, some more info about it. Okay, power cable again for meter. It's class A, not using residential area because it will. Uh, okay, <laughs> it will uh, inject perturbance in the network. Okay, so it it cannot. Um, ensure electromagnetic compatibility in those areas. Okay, so <clears throat> they skipped uh, a few corners. That's why uh, probably it's so light and uh, not uh, expensive, but yeah, whatever. If it works, it works. I don't have 
any really sensitive uh, devices and the power in my area is extremely 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 unstable so uh, yeah there's that it's not good to begin with how much worse can we actually make it no uh, can we also cut this i wonder if the other versions do have that warning off on them Maybe that's the difference, that this was a little bit less expensive, or maybe they just didn't bother, it was easier to write the text and uh, wave all, uh, all of their concerns and risks. So let me get everything out of this box, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> this is basically a toy, overheating, power on, and uh, this is a toy. This has a 80 millimeter PC fan basically in it, cooling it down. And uh, some whiskers from the hot glue, presumably used somewhere inside. This Antonov switch, silicone cables from what I can feel, they are really, really soft. All of them are really, really soft. Oh no, actually, this is the main 4 meter cable, big and uh, chunky plug, 16 amps at 250 volts, it's not going to take no way near that. If you need more info here, I don't know uh, how to translate all of this, I'm not a welder, some warnings. And uh, yeah, uh, pacemaker, beware if you have something like that, uh, not good at all. Arc can burn eyes, yes, do not look at it uh, without a mask. Electric shock from welding electrode can kill. Uh, yep, uh, make sure, <laughs> consider basically the welding wires as live main wires and uh, you should be good to go so do not freaking uh, touch them yes the mask itself is kind of kind of uh, the simple stuff but i am not going to to use it again so there's that you basically just take this and put the glass in it but i'm going to just put the glass with it's protection foil obviously normally you take the protection foil out for me it was hey why are you what is this is this too big are you kidding me no it's not too big presumably with the protection foil it's too big to i actually know it fell in place so i'm not going to scratch it but i'm also not going to use it so yeah there's that you have the brush itself and this to knock on the weld to uh, remove the impurities, not really sure how they are called in English. Yeah, did I put it? <clears throat> Don't laugh at me. Or, wait a second. What? I think this is the side that you should be putting it from. So why does it have on the other side the... That's weird, because you are holding it like this. Why is this? Eh, doesn't matter. Anyway, there's that. I think it's just a surface for this to sit on, so this is why it has exactly its shape. Anyway, get this uh, out of the way. I'm not going to use this. I'm using uh, an electronic mask, welding rods, 2.5. I think the smallest is 1.6, and probably two of them are 2 mils. There's that strap, not going to use this also, and uh, cables, again silicone, nice cables, this is, how is this operated, it should be like this, oh it's quite strong, okay, it's quite strong, and you can see the copper in there clearly, so that uh, should make a good contact, okay, they go to 200 amps, so they are uh, a bit what uh, over what this can do, this is also quite strong, 
rubberized okay connectors themselves that you simply plug in here they have a latch in there so plug it into one direction and yeah rotate it like this and it's locked same for the other one basically they are the same connectors and for, for polarity read online or in its manual because I've seen many variants depending on what you are trying to achieve with your weld uh, it's not uh, just this gets to be always negative and uh, the electrode always positive it, depending on what you are trying to do I've seen there's more variants so again not a welder and just so you make an idea of how small this is this is my PicTech uh, power supply uh, I cannot really put it next week uh, to it. Let me try like this. Maybe if I move the monitor out of the way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Both basically almost the same size. So uh, there's that. Quite a small device. If it uh, works, it's actually awesome. This is really weird. So on the box, there was no English in here. We again have English. Never using open air when it's raining. Uh, yep, it's electrical. <laughs> inhalation uh, can endanger your f uh, health of the fumes inhalation. Not good. Welding sparks can cause an explosion. Yep, check that online. You will see lots of them. Of them. Jeez, I cannot talk today at all. Okay. Risk of electric shock. Risk of serious injury or death. Mm, lots of risks I can see here. IP21X protection class wear protection and yes even exposed skin in time from the UV uh, that the art produces will get damaged so and also sparks will fly and burn you be careful about that this is what we get uh, these are what is it let me show you something like this so we have all of the numbers on the welder Hopefully you can see it and all of the numbers here, whatever they mean. Which is great. Specs, maximum current, 20 amps. Effective input current, so it will draw 11 amps from uh, the network maximum, but I don't think we'll ever get there. Non-load non voltage maximum, 66 volts, yep. Metal thickness that can be welded from 1.5 to 3 millimeters. Yeah, I think I will have even less than this. So who knows if we can do that. We'll see, we'll see over time. Ask me in the comments. And uh, yeah, feel free to pause at any time. Huge, huge uh, uh, lettering. Okay, and now after the warnings we go back to small lettering, welding currents depending on what you need, I will try to use 1.6 so well, maybe I will go to 60 amps, we'll see, we'll see, I have, uh, where are they, one second, I have some leftover, oh not 1.6, they are two, <coughs> my bad. So probably 70 amps right smack in the middle, but we'll see. Again, not a welder here, just a random amateur. So push welding or drag welding. Hmm. Okay. I think drag welding is easier to do, but we'll see. And uh, presumably that's about all she wrote. And this seems to be the brand that made it, I'm guessing. So uh, there's that. Let's see how we can play with this. And obviously we'll be using the PicTech current clamp on the 1000 amps limit DC mode 
to see what this baby can actually output and how stable it is through uh, an app on my phone that's connected to this through Bluetooth. And I will compare it to my father's uh, cheapo unit that actually was more expensive than this if I remember correctly a few years ago. But technology did progress a lot since then, so we'll see, we'll see. First I'm going to test my father's unit with the Pictec current clamp. Uh, I will set it to about 70 amps and uh, see what it actually does and what it actually handles through the app on my phone. I'm just uh, doing some spot welds in here. Yes, obviously this will not stay here when I weld it. And uh, yeah, this is not properly cleaned, but for what we need should be enough, I hope. Okay, we'll do a quick test with this at 70 amps on a piece of real, don't touch it, <laughs> on a piece of really dirty material because it's harder to start and sustain a weld on something like this and I'm too lazy to clean it because it's just a test and I don't have a clean piece obviously. So uh, the current clamp is in here and I will record to the screen to see what this can actually do and how it looks like. Yeah, corrosion was so bad that that wasn't uh, making a contact on this uh, welder, so we couldn't start the arc. We need to clean that a little bit. This is the result and this thing on the 70 amp um, um, setting it actually only delivered about 55 amps or something like that mm, yeah another test with a bit thicker electrode i think it's uh, 2.5 to see if it will uh, draw more current but uh, i don't think i think the current will be about the same couldn't sustain the arc uh, and couldn't uh, give 70 amps so now we are pumping way more and see if uh, it can sustain an arc now so on 100 and 20 it's actually 70 amps and it could barely sustain it there and there so yeah this is not outputting what it says uh, it's outputting now let's get to the small one and see what it does hmm I hope I didn't buy a toy <laughs> much 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 smaller doesn't have a display but uh, yeah I think it's good enough we will go to somewhere for the first test about 76 a bit below 76 so hopefully we are at about 70 more or less and the back of the units this has a bigger fan this a tiny bit smaller because basically it didn't have enough room on it so there's that let's power it on and see what it does current clamp on it again connected to the app let's power the little guy on same setting, about 70 more or less, we'll see what it actually does. And uh, yeah, same workpiece. This seems to be a bit stronger, the spring, compared to my father's. Uh, this uh, seems also to be a bit stronger, but it's also a bit crooked, so who knows, hope it works. Had the wrong electrode there, that was 2.5, this is 2, so we will start at 70 amps with this, as we did with the other welder. Yep, so these are the welds much, much, much better than the other one. And uh, basically, as you could see, what I said is what I got, but put the current clamp uh, backwards. So I need to rotate it so we don't get uh, uh, a minus in front of our measurement. But uh, yeah, what I set in there is what I get. I will also try with the 2.5 with the same setting because something tells me that this can actually handle it.
That dark line, yes, it could handle the 2.5 at 76 more or less what we have set in there. So uh, this thing is much, much, much more stable than I expected. Uh, it was harder to strike uh, uh, first, but yeah, it's a low setting, so I could bump it just a tiny bit. I'm going to go to one, 120 just for the lows and see what it does. This is what I got. It actually reached 120 as you could see. So this is a pretty good unit. A really good buy, honestly. 300 lei. I don't know, in euros, 60 euros? Yeah, I think it's 60 euros. So that, maybe. <laughs> maybe you cannot really get cheaper and better, honestly. Okay, I can honestly tell you this little guy is freaking awesome. I have no idea how to weld, I just hit it, go with it and yeah, I need to hammer it to get, uh, is it soot? I don't think it's soot, not sure how it's called, uh, out of it, but for what this needs to be and being really dirty, corroded, this is incredibly uh, easy to weld. Welding with it for a bit on 70 amps, 76 actually. No heat whatsoever. Unit seems cool, so it will shut off by itself in a moment. It has a little timer in it, a delay. While editing the video, I realized that I didn't uh, remove the slag, I think uh, is the term for uh, what's on the weld when you finish. So you couldn't really see the welds themselves. I'm going to show them now and hopefully you figure out which is which. From my uh, memory, the proper ones, this and this, for example, really long thin one, are with my welder. The ones which are more interrupted are with my father's welded welder. And this big one is with my welder, but I wasn't keeping the distance properly and the current was way too high, I think. So that's why we also have a hole and stuff like this. So that was not a proper weld, but the other ones with my unit, I really, really like them. Considering that I have no clue how to weld, basically. And with my fathers, you can see they are not quite uh, what they should. They are welds, but... Mm. So it's much harder with his uh, welder to weld when you have no idea how to weld, basically. Found a home for my... Uh, welding stuff, uh, the mask itself, even the original mask. If you have a second person that's next to you when you are welding something, they can use this. So yeah, keep it, keep it around. You never know. It can be helpful. The welder itself is basically smaller than the mask. <laughs> so uh, it fits really well in here. It's a really good welder and it actually works really well even for novices like myself, you can actually weld something and not be afraid uh, it will come apart. That's that's about it. So it's it's really simple to operate and it kind of does the job for you <laughs> if you if you can at least keep your hand a tiny bit stable. And yes, in time I, I I'm quite sure I will learn to use this much much better than I can now. So that's about it for this video. I do recommend you get it if you find it for 300 lei or about 60 euros. It's awesome, but I think it's also worth 400 lei, 80 euros in my opinion for how good this is. So yeah, that's about it. See you in the next video. Bye.